Welcome to the Baystar Hydraulic Steering System installation video. In this video, we will cover the steps for properly installing your Baystar steering system, including installing the helm, cylinder, and tuber hose, filling and bleeding the system, performing system tests and fluid level checks, performing system safety checks and maintenance. Base star steering systems are not designed for boats with high steering loads, which may include some pontoon boats and bass boats. If you have any questions, please contact Dometic Marine Technical Support or your local marine dealer. Always refer to your Base star installation manual for torque specifications, maintenance, and specific engine information during and after your installation. Tools needed. For this installation, you may need the following. 3-inch 77mm diameter hole saw or keyhole saw, 5-16-inch 9.5mm drill bit, a half inch 9-16-inch 5-8-inch 11-16-inch and 1-1-8-inch wrench, a good quality marine grease, sharp knife or tube cutter, shop towels and a container to hold oil. Copy of your Baystar installation manual. Installing the helm. Determine the desired mounting location, taking note that the wheel will not interfere with other functioning equipment like controls. Make sure the desired location has room behind the dash and is free from other components. Using the provided template, mark the dash and cut the required 3-inch diameter main hole and the 4 5 16 inch diameter mounting holes. Ensure the fill port is in the upmost position and install the helm into the dash. Install the four washers and nuts onto the studs behind the dash and torque to 110 inch pounds. After removing tape, lightly grease the threads and taper of the steering shaft with grease and install the wheel. Install the wheel and torque nut to 115 inch-pounds. Next, install the ORB fittings. This could be done before installing the helm if it's easier for your application. Align and torque to spec 18 foot-pounds. Installing the cylinder. Using a good quality marine grease, generously grease the engine's tilt tube including threaded ends and support rods. Install the support rods partially into the engine's tilt tube. Lightly grease the tiller bolt and install the cylinder assembly per your specific engine installation requirements. Note, some may have the cylinder installed below the tiller arm. Consult the installation manual. Ensure you use the correct diagram for your engine and follow all posted torque specs. Lightly grease the ends of the cylinder shaft and attach the support rods and hardware. Tighten the large tilt tube nut to 20 to 25 feet pounds and the support rod to cylinder shaft small nuts to 33 feet pounds. Installing tube and hose. Route steering tube or hose so the bend restrictions are at the engine end. Route the lines moving forward ensuring a gradual rise. Ensure tubing or hose is an adequate length for your application and is free from moving parts, sharp edges or chafing. Secure tubing and hose every two feet. Flexible hose should not be cut. If using rigid nylon tube, use a tube cutter or sharp knife to cut off excess tube at the helm end. If using pre-made hoses, they are ordered to the exact length. Do not cut the hose assemblies. Slide tube nut over tube end and insert tubing fully into helm's fittings and hand tighten tube nut. While holding the tubing firmly into the fitting, turn the tube nut exactly one to one and a quarter full turns past hand tight to complete compression. Do not let the orb fitting rotate during this step. 
filling and bleeding the system. This step requires two people. Screw the threaded end of the filler tube into the helm. Remove the oil bottle's cap and attach to the filler tube and raise bottle. Using a pin, poke a hole into the bottom of the bottle. Allow the helm pump to fill with oil. Fluid should be visible in the filler tube at all times. If not, use the second quart of oil at any point to avoid drawing air into the helm. Turn the steering wheel clockwise until the engine is fully hard over. Open the starboard bleed fitting one half to one turn at the cylinder. Do not let the cylinder bleeder hose empty at any point in this process. Open and use the second cord if needed. Now while holding the outboard, turn the wheel counterclockwise until 10 seconds of air-free oil comes out the bleeder and close. Continue turning the wheel counterclockwise until the engine is hard over. Open the port bleeder fitting half to one turn at the cylinder. While holding the outboard, have your assistant turn the wheel clockwise until 10 seconds of air-free oil comes out of the bleeder and close. System check. Turn the steering wheel from lock to lock. Verify correct number of turns for system selected and unrestricted movement of steering system components and hose or tube. Repeat this procedure in all tilt and trim ranges as well if you have a jack plate in all ranges from down to up. If any interference or restrictions are found, this must be resolved before operating the boat. Also, confirm the engine is turning the right direction, and if not, swap hose ends at the helm or ram to correct and re-bleed the system again. Next, take the steering wheel and turn to hard over starboard. Once the wheel reaches its stop point, Continue to turn the wheel at least two full turns and check all connections, fittings, and seals for leaks. If no problems are found, continue the test in the opposite direction and correct any problems. Note, this procedure will not harm the system and must be performed. Fluid level and air test. Remove the filler tube and set the helm's oil level to 1 8 to 1 quarter inch below the fill port's lowest thread. If not, add fluid until the correct level is achieved. Perform a system air test. Center the engine and manually push the engine back and forth. While pushing, observe the cylinder's body. If the cylinder moves more than 1 8 inch each way or a quarter inch total, repeat the bleeding process. Thank you for watching our Baystar Hydraulic Steering System installation video. If you have any further questions or need any assistance, please visit us at Dometic.com.